Since the dawn of man, scientists have longed to travel through time. In the late 1960s, a crack team of geniuses combined their talents to attempt to break the time barrier. In the Florida Keys, Dr. Woodstock P. Havens was given the task of building a special space shuttle. Yeah, but I decided to make a submarine instead, man. So come on and join me as we float through time. I command you, I'm coming down. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, hello. <laughs> I've stayed aboard the love sub to learn about the brave prophet Daniel. Now, he was so brave, he once faced a den of lions. <laughs> I admire his courage. <laughs> oh, hello, handsome. <laughs> Oh, what's that? Oh, you want to bring the prophet Daniel oh, here and introduce him to me? Oh, oh please proceed. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, time that was quick. Alert. Okay. Time travel alert. We have a time travel visitor in three, two, one. Ow, 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 ouch, that hurts. Are you Daniel? No, I'm sorry. I'm Darius. King Darius. King Darius! Oh. You are the cowardly That's, king in the story! I, I, you threw Daniel to the lions! I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I like Daniel. It was a mistake. He's my favorite advisor. He's so nice and so smart. Then why did you throw him to the lions? I, 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 I didn't want to. It was my advisors. They tricked me into making a law. But, but, but I made a better law. I changed it. I can show you. Do you have a book? Bible? Ah, uh, yes. It is in that power portal right there. Over here? Okay. Yes. Go! 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 Scary! Scary! Uh, scary! I trick you. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Really, though. It's there this time. You sure? Yes, go look. It's there. Okay. Oh, yes. Go! 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 It is even funny second time. <laughs> okay, okay. Really, though. It's on that side. <laughs> For reals? Yes. Okay. <laughs> no, no, oh, oh, oh. It is just the power source. Why are you so afraid like little chicken baby? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm just so nervous all the time. It's my advisors. They make me so nervous. Oh. <laughs> you see, I, I have to stay on my toes all the time. But I did make a good law. Look, here it is. <clears throat> I issue a decree that in every part of my kingdom, people must fear and reverence the God of Daniel. Oh, oh scary oh. noise! What is that? Oh, 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 oh no! Come back out here! Hey, little chicken king! It is just, it is just a warning. A warning? Yes. Are we is... under attack? Of course not. Come on out from there. It is just the warning lights to tell us about God's warnings to His prophets. Well, I'm no prophet. Yes, I can see that. But God can use even little wussy kings like you who do not serve him to preach his truth. I wish I knew that before I listened to those nasty advisors. Advisors? What advisors? Well, well you see, I have 120 men who watch over my kingdom. And then three administrators who watch over them and report to me. Oh. Daniel is my absolute favorite advisor. Actually, he's the only one I can really trust. Huh. I was going to put him in charge of everything until... Until, until what? Oh, well, in 
until my advisors found out. Why are you whispering? Well, you see, uh, my advisors, they're always sneaking around oh. and, and plotting and trying to trick me. Uh. I've got to be really careful. No! Oh, no! Scare me! Scare me! Relax! Buddy. Relax! It is only my assistant! Handsome, you are afraid of your own shadow. Oh, no. Oh, it's just the way I am. I'm, I, it's my advisors. They, they make me so nervous all the time. Do you know what they did? What? They were so jealous of Daniel that they cooked up this evil plan. And they tricked me into passing a law that said that everyone for 30 days would have to worship only me. If anyone worshipped any other god or man, they would be thrown into a den of lions. That is exactly what King Nebuchadnezzar had foolishly done. I know, you'd think I would have learned from his mistake, but it seemed like such a good idea at the time. <laughs> I was so foolish to trust him. I can be so stupid sometimes. Uh, uh, okay, <laughs> do not take it so hard on yourself. We all make uh, foolish mistakes. <laughs> really? Even you? Of course not. I am no fool. Now, uh, what did Daniel do? Well, I I'll read it to you. Now, when Daniel learned that the degree had been published, he went home to the upstairs room where his windows opened towards Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Three times a day, he got down on his knees and prayed, ah. giving thanks to his God, just as he had done before. Uh. Oh! Uh, uh, you are uh, the king! Uh, Why are you so afraid? Oh. So, you know, when you're the king, you're always a little bit afraid. Well, you should have learned from Daniel. He was not afraid to pray to his God even when his life was in danger. I know. He's so much braver than I am. See, that's one of the reasons that I admire him. It's his habit to pray to his God every day. And he'd never, never let any man keep him from his God, not even a king. Mm. Oh, but those evil advisors, oh, they were out to get him. They caught him praying in his room, and they all came came running to me and told me that Daniel broke the law and I had to throw him into the den of lions. Well, why couldn't you change the law? I couldn't until the 30 days were over. Ugh. Oh, believe me, I didn't want to do it. I tried every way I could to rescue him. I said, what if we throw him into a den of puppies? Uh. No, but they said, no, it wouldn't work. Yeah. So I said, how's about a pit of angry chickens? Well, yes. But no, nope, no, nope, no, nope. they said, it has to be lions. Uh. Well, they had totally tricked me into punishing an innocent man. So I said to Daniel, Daniel, I hope the God you serve rescues you. Oh, what did Daniel say? Nothing. He just prayed. You see, that's his habit. That's the kind of relationship that he has with God. He talks to him all the time. So we sealed the entrance to the lion's den with a bolt. Ugh, you should feel ashamed of yourself. Are you kidding? I felt horrible. Ugh. I couldn't eat or sleep all night long. And in the morning, I ran to remove the stone. And guess what? Daniel was alive. Of course, <laughs> the Lord shut the lion's mouths. Yes, God sent an angel to shut the mouth of the lions. Oh, I was so happy that I made a new <laughs> law right on the spot telling everyone to honor Daniel's God. And it went like this. For he is the living God, and he endures forever. His kingdom will not be destroyed. His dominion will never end. He rescues and he saves. He performs signs and wonders in the heavens and on the earth. He has rescued Daniel from the power of the lions. <laughs> Oh! Are you not afraid of this sound? I guess not. <laughs> you know what? Seeing Daniel be so brave, it, 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 it makes me feel brave. And God <laughs> rescued him. Oh, so wonderful. I feel brave inside. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, what is oh. oh, it's just you, handsome, you oh. silly. You have nothing to fear, scared the king, because we have the Lord's promise. We need fear nothing. Not lions, not laws, not uh, jealous advisors, not hands that live in walls. No, <laughs> for we have God on our side. Nothing gets between us and God. Remember that, kids. There's nothing that can get between you and worshiping and praying to God. And remember, no matter where you are in time, God is good all the time. Oh, that's so good to know. So long, so kids. Long. <laughs> Where are we going in here? Yes. Oh, it's dark in here. It's a little scary.